How's it going everybody? This is Ruby, and welcome back to episode 118 of my modded Minecraft machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the wind turbines from Mechanism Generators, which is just an add-on for Mechanism. So these guys here produce you lots and lots and lots of power, and it is also dependent on the height of the windmill, but we'll get into that here in a second. So the user interface over here is this middle bar you got here. This is going to show how much energy it has stored up on the first line. The second line is how much energy it's actually going to be producing. And then the third line is how many joules per tick it's going to be exporting. And this slot over here is you can put any item you want to charge in here. So for example, we could put our energy cube and it'll start charging it up there. If we take a look at the building recipe for this guy, it's going to take two energy tablets, which is just three gold, four redstone, and two enriched alloys for that. And then your basic control circuit, which is osmium and redstone and a metallurgic infuser. An osmium ingot and then three enriched alloys, which is just iron and redstone and a metallurgic infuser. So, this guy is obviously a power generation method. So, here we have a guy, and this guy is producing 125.45 uh, joules. So, if we hook it up here, like using these universal cables, and on the front of these guys, you'll see a green slot. That's going to be your output, where you're going to get power out of it. And if we take a look in here, you can see, obviously, it's going to be charging it. So, this guy is 125.45. Let's take a little trip up real quick. Now we're at around Y level 200, and you can see it's going up considerably, more than double. So, as you can see, from 12545 to 38364, obviously this is going to be the better way to, if you have it way up and higher, and you can also see that it's actually spinning quicker and quicker. And you, of course, could bring this up to build limit if you wanted to. One last thing I want to cover is that these guys actually don't get affected if you have them next to each other like this. So even though the rotors are obviously hitting each other, you don't actually get an efficiency decrease from this. So you can see all these guys are producing 125.45, which is the same as this guy, which is isolated. So if you have any questions about the windmill, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any of the questions you have. If this video helped you out, or if you enjoyed it, our rating would be very much appreciated. And subscribe. As always, I have new modded Minecraft videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.